to be successful in, within your own local group, you don't want to be the one that does all the work because then you can't really be free to be you. You don't have the opportunity and the luxury to, to network and, and to meet other business owners and, and to be there for the very reason you developed that group. And so one of the things that we want to do is we want to teach you to, help, to, to actually help other people see the value of serving the, lo the local group, not just serving you, but to serve the local group. And so whether it's an ambassador, a member, um, whether it's uh, you know, maybe somebody wants a co-host with you, that there's, there's power in sharing the workload. So, you know, I, I know that whenever it was my responsibility to set up a local meeting and, and you know, make sure the audio visual was taken care of, make sure the restaurant was uh, established for the meeting and, and all the other details that go into starting that thing, let alone the, having the name badges and make sure you have all the, the handout flyers and somebody at the registration desk, that is amazing and overwhelming, to be honest with you. And when you can delegate to somebody who wants to do that, who wants to help you be more successful, that's powerful. Anything you want yeah, to add? Jim, what, you've, what you started here is just so unique and, and so exciting for everybody, Mo all kinds of business owners from everywhere. Um, it really gives people an opportunity to come from any type of business and, and collaborate and coordinate, <clears throat> organize different events for, for, different, for all business owners, really. And it gives people, even if, you're, even if you haven't done much in the past, even if you want to step up, become a leader, you can plug into other leaders, learn from them, grow from them, gain value for yourself, and, and really – um, collaborate with them to put on a successful event and gain more business for what for whatever your business is. I, I want to <clears throat> speak uh, to the serving side. Uh, you know, I've I've been putting on meetings from from the size of fifty people to literally fifteen thousand people, and that's and I'm not kidding. And, and the thing is, is that I've had more help by business owners that were willing to serve for free. Wow! Because they saw value in helping the overall cause because it helped their business grow. And, and, and I really, I'm, I'm putting a message out here because I believe that most of the business owners are servers. It, that's why they're successful. Because they work for free to get where they are. Absolutely. Most business owners didn't make money up front. Okay? It wasn't, I show up, how much am I going to get paid? Most business owners said, when I get there, I'm going to be making some great money or it's going to be a great opportunity or I'm going to fulfill my destiny. Right? And, and so what an ambassador is or a, a host is or perhaps a member that doesn't want to fall in the category of a host or ambassador we're looking for servers that are willing to share in the load. I, I, I agree with you 100%. Um, I think what we're bringing to the table, everyone w is going to want to be involved, which it, it obviously it brings everyone to the next level. And um, typically in the past, other social organizations, there's normally one person who's running it all, and they never get a chance to get the full value of a social, you know, online and offline marketing event. That's that's why it's going to be just incredible running this um, as a host or an ambassador and reaching out to all the team members. And um, everyone's just going to come on board and everyone's going to give 110%. And it's just, it's just, going, to be, it's just going to be exciting. Well, I, th I think about sharing the work workload as well is, is teaching responsibility to everyone. Um, you know, for the members, our goal is to eventually have a lot of the members and the business owners become ambassadors and hosts. Well, in order to do that, we've got to share the work workload to teach people how to do that. And putting on any event, I'm sure, Josh, you, you can uh, uh, elaborate on this. When you guys put on a major event, there's so many things that go on with that, not just the, the actual event, what people see, but behind the scenes. And, you know, talk, talk a little bit, if you would, about how you guys put that on and the different responsibilities. Um, yeah, b basically what, what I see being the best part about this entire concept is the fact that, like I said earlier, networking and being in front of the room as a host is going to give us the kind of credibility, going to give me the credibility that I'm looking for in my local community. Not only that, but the members can then upgrade themselves to become an ambassador, and they'll do that voluntarily. And they'll do that because they know and they see the kind of power that we're getting and the credibility we're getting as hosts, and they'll want that for themselves. And we know that because people are already asking for it. So as these members upgrade to become ambassadors – you'll then be able to get a feel and a taste for the empowerment and, and the new abilities, the new opportunities that arise because you have upgraded yourself to Ambassador, the, the new talents, the new skills, and the new opportunity that will be put in front of you because of the fact that you are now in a leadership role and you're in front of more people than you ever have been before. In the past, running large events, um, I've always tried to take most of the workload on myself because of just the control factor. But as I've learned from Jim and as I've learned from lots of other mentors and leaders in my life, I've now learned that you can't do it on your own. 
And when you have people that not only are wanting to be a part of that leadership role, but they're invested in the cause. They're invested in the overall cause and the end of the, the end of the day purpose. What we're trying to accomplish with successful thinkers as a group, our overall cause is what everybody, every business owner wants to be a part of. And so as these, these ambassadors come out of the woodworks, they'll voluntarily get involved with this because of the fact that they will want to contribute to the cause because our cause is all one and the same. And so as business owners, we all have that in common, and ambassadors and hosts can now work together on the same level knowing we're all contributing to the same cause. Um, I want to say something. You, you kept saying the words upgrade, and I keep thinking in my mind because in sales, you know, when you upgrade yeah. somebody, they're, they're spending more money. If you upgrade for free. free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everything's totally free. Your, your, the, your payment is serving. Absolutely. I think I want to just make this, this one last point myself, and then I'll, I'll pass it on. But I think – you know, uh, sharing the responsibilities, uh, uh, you know, sharing the workload, what's going to happen is it's going to be a, a, a more of a commitment level. It's going to happen from all the members because they're going to feel a part of it, um, you know, and, and, and I believe what's going to happen is we're going to see, see, a lot of times people don't see the little small things like setting up the room or going to get the ice or having the sign-up sheets available or making the name tags. But see, when you have some people who are shy, they can't really, they don't feel they can speak in front of a room, but they can do those things. And when you have them do those things and you thank them for it and you make known in front of the room that they took care of this, it's, you're serving them now and you're making them feel a part of the whole team. And it's going to grow uh, exponentially because of that, because of having those little things, but making sure that you don't forget to thank them in front of the room where other people can hear that, hey, wow, they were a part. And you watch the people, how proud they are going to feel and how they're going to smile because you now acknowledge them as a part of this event being successful. So I, I think as, as and, and we're getting back to this, talking about ambassadors and hosts, but I think we got to make sure we remember that role when we include people in, in, in helping that we also acknowledge them, you know, that, that, that they're doing certain things to help the event. I think, we're, I think we've done a great job here on this one, and um, I want to thank you uh, for being a part of this.